What's good everybody, it's your boy OBJC and for today's video I'm going to be showcasing how you guys can build an entire gaming PC for under $600. I recently did two other ones like this, but so far I feel as if the $600 range that I did this video is the best of the best. I picked some high quality parts and honestly, this right here can run any game at high FPS. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to do me a huge favor, drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I want to tell you guys thank you so much, we finally hit 19,000 subscribers. We're on the road to 20k and I told you guys as soon as we hit 20k, we are going to be coming out with a limited merch drop. Comment down below if you guys think you will buy my stuff. Just know that it's going to be super fire. I have a couple ideas that I'm already working on. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to do me a huge favor. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so for the first thing for the $600 PC build, we are going to be going with this Dark Flash Micro ATX Mini Tower. Like I tell you guys all the time now, I really wish I would have went with a Micro Tower case. Just because mine is way too big and it doesn't look appealing to the eye on top of my desk. This is coming right around $65.99 and they have a variety of different colors. One of my favorite features about this micro ATX case right here is the side panel. The side panel is a tempered glass so you get to see everything inside as well as it does open up like a door. My case right now, it does have the side panel as well but the problem is you have to take out four screws and the entire panel comes off. I really like the door opening side panel just because it makes it more appealing to the eye as well as it's easier to get in and out of your actual case itself. There's a variety of different colors like I told you guys. You have black, you have this color right here, you have pink, maybe for a girl. My favorite color honestly is probably this white one right here. I'd go with this for this $600 PC build, but for $65.99 you really can't beat it. That's why I'm going with this one for this build right here. As you guys can see, it's a very beautiful case. I'd recommend it 100%. So far I think this is the best case that I've found out of all my PC build guides that I was doing for you guys. This right here is probably my favorite one that I've found so far. So that's why I'm going with this one for the $600 PC build. Alright, next up for the motherboard, we did go with this Gigabyte B450M. This right here is another Macro ATX motherboard. This right here is coming at $72.99. I feel as if right now, this is probably the best bet you guys can have to buy a good motherboard. This right here at the price point is relatively good just because at $72.99 is relatively cheap as well as a very good brand. Gigabyte is very high quality. It does come with three year warranty all around which is absolutely amazing. And if you guys buy it right now, you guys have 15 days of purchase to return it which is absolutely amazing as well. As you guys can see, it's coming at $72.99. I'd recommend this motherboard 150%. I personally don't have a Gigabyte motherboard. I have an MSI motherboard, but a lot of my friends do use this motherboard right here. The same one, the B450M, and they always tell me all the time that one, it's amazing and it does everything it needs to do. That's why I went with this one right here. For the price point, you really can't beat it, and that's why I did it for the $600 build. All right, coming in number three on the list for the $600 PC build is gonna be this MSI RX 570 graphics card. It's coming in at $139.99. This GPU right here is probably one of the best GPUs you could find for under $150. This will definitely achieve that high FPS gameplay like a lot of you guys want. I was talking to a lot of my friends and I know a lot of you guys know that I'm already an MSI fanboy. But they did tell me that this right here is probably one of the greatest GPUs you can buy right now for under $150. It is 8 gigabytes, which is relatively good as well. And as you guys can see, it is a very beautiful graphics card. If you guys scroll down, you guys kind of get an idea of what it looks like. As well as it does come with 4K HDR. It does have no screen tearing as well. And the MSI Afterburner, in my opinion, is probably one of the greatest softwares out there. I really do like it as well. Like I tell you guys all the time, I'm basically an MSI fanboy. I have a lot of MSI parts in my PC, as well as just regular mouse keyboards, things like that. So for this right here coming at $139, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you guys want some high FPS gameplay, this is exactly what you guys need. And this $600 build, in my opinion, is probably going to be one of the greatest PC builds that I've done so far. Just because not only did I try, but a couple of my friends helped me out try to build the best PC for under $600. That's why we did go with this MSI RX 570 graphics card. For the CPU, we did go with this AMD Ryzen 5 1600. It is 6 cores, 12 thread, it's great for gaming, streaming, and editing. So this right here is going to be perfect for what I wanted to build this PC for. I know a lot of you guys watching my videos either one want to become YouTubers or two, you guys just want to play video games in general. This right here is going to be perfect for editing, playing regular video games, doing whatever you guys need to do on this PC right here. I did find the AMD Ryzen 5 for $148.91 in Walmart. A lot of you guys know that you kind of just have to do your research because I saw the same CPU right here going for $160 to $175 and I found it for $148 bucks on Walmart. So right here they only have 6 left so if you guys want to build this PC, I'm going to have all the links down below but this right here is what we went for the CPU. I did go with the AMD Ryzen 5 1600. Like I said it's perfect for editing, streaming, playing video games in general and this right here is what we went with for the $600 PC build. 
So for the SSD, we did go with this ADATA SU800. It's 512 gigabytes. This is a pretty solid state drive, to be quite honest with you guys. For $64.98, you're getting 512 gigabytes. That's more than enough for right now. I'd recommend upgrading in the near future, but for the $600 build, you really can't beat it. And as you guys can see, it's a relatively nice SSD. I'd recommend it. I'd probably purchase this right now if I was buying another PC build. Just because for the 512 gigabytes, you're only spending $64. There's a lot more SSDs out there that are worth way more money. And honestly, you're getting the same amount of gigabytes. That's why I went with this one right here. A couple of my friends do use ADATA, so I did go with this. Just because they've never had problems ever in their life. And I went with this one right here. We did go with the ADATA SU800. It is 512 gigabytes coming at $64.98. So for the RAM, we did go with this Team Group T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4. It is 16 gigabytes. It's eight gigabytes times two. This right here is coming at $59.99. As you guys can see, they're relatively beautiful. You have a variety of different colors you can go with. I really like these right here. If I was you guys, I'd probably go with these just because the RGB on it looks absolutely amazing. And imagine the contrast on the white case that I recommended you guys. But you have a variety of different colors. You have red. You have a whole bunch of different stuff you can choose for. 16 gigabytes of 3,000 megahertz RAM is a sweet spot when it comes to price and performance. That's my honest opinion. This is $60. I spent way more than that. I think I spent around 120 bucks on my RAM alone. And I do feel as if I overpaid. I'd go with this right here just because it almost looks exactly the same. And you're getting the same amount of things that I have on my more expensive RAM. But coming at $59.99, you really can't beat it. I'd recommend it 100%. And as you guys can see, once you have it in, it looks absolutely amazing. I'd recommend. But like I said, 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM is a perfect sweet spot for price and performance. And that's why I went with this. To wrap up the $600 budget PC, we are going with the EVGA 500 watt power supply. It's coming in at $59.99. As a lot of you guys know, I personally use EVGA power supplies. And all my friends that ask me what power supply they should get, I do go with this right here. They offer amazing warranty as well as they are relatively good and for a cheap price as well. Like I said, 500 watts for $59.99, you really can't beat it. This right here is going to wrap up the $600 PC build. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to do me a huge favor. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.